Okay, so I'm gonna try and show you uh, like in miniature here, but this can be easily scaled up. Um, you wanna kinda use rope that matches with the size of your sticks, or you're gonna need to do uh, more wraps around. So say you're using paracord with big sticks, um, you know, something like this, you're just gonna need to do more wraps uh, than I'm gonna do, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna start out with the clove hitch. I'm gonna do it the simple way. Um, so I'm just gonna make those double loops, kind of loop them over each other, and attach them to one of my sticks here. Uh, and now I'm gonna take this and weave it over, under, over, under on these sticks. And I don't want it to be too tight um, because that will make it harder uh, or it can put too much tension on the rope depending on uh, what you're trying to do with this. So again, just over, under, over, under until I have um, a few wraps on each stick here. I think that looks about good for this. So you can kind of see just I've gone in and out, in and out, in and out. Uh, now what I'm going to do is what's called a frapping turn, which is kind of a funny word, and I'm going to wrap the cord around the wraps I've already made in between the sticks. I'm just going to do that uh, for this example kind of twice on each side. So I did it twice there. Now I'll do it twice around the other ones. One. And two. And then I'm going to finish it off uh, on that same stick I started on with another clove hitch. So two loops on there. And now what I can do is take these two outer sticks, cross them in front of this one and I can stand that up um, on my table here it's hard to see <laughs> um, with bigger sticks it's obviously uh, and outside it's gonna make a big difference um, because when I let go of this it slides but in the dirt it will stick uh, I can also fix that a little bit if I'd made my turns a little bit tighter as well uh, and that will help that as well hope that shows you what you need to do for a tripod lashing.